A high school student has been arrested in connection to the killing of James Blue III. Blue, the husband of a Baltimore City Police Lieutenant, was gunned down last week outside of his rental property on Walker, Walker Avenue. Loved ones say that Blue was an Amtrak conductor. WMER 2 News' Dave Detley obtained the charging documents from the arrest. He joins us from outside police headquarters. Dave, it was an awful killing. Any more information about a possible motive in this case? Well, no motive right now, but neighbors definitely want to know why this shooting occurred. But looking over those charging documents, police say it was a Mervo High School student who allegedly committed that crime. And they say that same suspect was seen leaving the high school wearing the same exact clothing, according to witnesses, that the suspect was seen at that murder scene. You're looking at the 1400 block of Walker Avenue where police say James Blue was gunned down on January 25th. Neighbors say Blue recently purchased a home in the area and was renovating it. The day he was killed, he was waiting on appliance to be delivered. Neighbors tell WMAR 2 News the shooting was alarming. The whole community was outside trying to figure out what was going on because we don't really have issues like that on this block. Court documents reveal police identified Merville High School student Sahayo Carbo as the killer. Police wrote Carbo walked up to Blue's car and shot at the back window. When Blue got out of the car, police say the suspect continued to shoot at him. It's just shocking and amazing because of the age of the guy. Court documents go on to say Carbo was seen on home surveillance video in a school uniform walking up towards Walker Avenue before the shooting. Minutes later, he was seen running back to a stolen white vehicle. Carbo was eventually arrested at his home where police say they recovered two handguns, one of them matching the weapon that killed James Blue. It's a good thing it did happen for us, them catching them, especially for the community, the neighborhood. You know, now they can be a little bit more relaxed about the situation. And according to investigators in Baltimore County, the same suspect was wanted for a crime on January 26th. According to investigators, he allegedly robbed a Wendy's in Pikesville, Parkville rather. And of course, that same suspect remains locked up tonight, facing a multitude of charges, including first degree murder. Live outside police headquarters, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.